What's up, everybody? We're back. Easiest Flies in the World, part two. Today, I'm going to tie the new one coming out from Umqua for Fall 21. It's called the Good Friday. Stripers, wipers, walleye, bass, whatever. Um, the hook I'm going with today, so I'm using the XS506 Heavy Jig Hook, and this is a size 2. I like the heavy one um, just because it's a heavier gauge wire, and sometimes you're dealing with some big old fish that like to straighten hooks. And same kind of deal on this fly that I was showing on the other one. You'll have to see my other video for it. But um, I like using a 210 from UTC. And to be honest with you, you can go with a 140 as well. 140 is okay for this fly. And then you're going to grab basically one of these two colors, either pearl gray or shad gray, depending on if you want to go a little lighter or a little bit darker. Um, I'm going to go with the lighter one because of the material that I'm going to be using for the body. So this one's already basically halfway broken, but you'll see what I do with these. The feather selection is really important here because um, you need something with a wide, a wide body on it because it needs to kind of flow independently of its, of itself or of each other, I guess. Grip you a section of it and rip it off of there. I'm going to tie it in the back. We're going to take one more little section. Found another little stranded feather. And again, just tie it in the back. So once you're here, that's your tail. Um, that's pretty much where we're going to build off of. So go ahead and run on back up to the front. I'm going to be using a medium lead eye. Um, I like medium for this one because I need it to get down really fast. So that's particularly what I use for this pattern. At this point, we're gonna put in a little bit of flash on either side. I like using flash boo just in silver. You only need one strand of this stuff because um, it doesn't need to be super flashy on the back end because the body itself is gonna be really flashy. I'll take you one strand, cut it in half, and then you're going to bend it over the thread and tie it in on either side. Same deal here. So you take it, bend it over the thread. It doesn't need to be exact. Just needs to give the fly a little, a little something extra. Okay. Now you're just going to take what I like to use for this on the body is Palmer chenille, and it's a medium size. I'm gonna be using pearl today. I like using a pearl gray or a pearl. Um, either one is really good. I went with the lighter selection on the marabou, so that's why I'm just gonna go with straight pearl. But cut you a section of this stuff. A little bit can go a long way on this fly. So you're gonna tie it in, and then you're just gonna hold it and start to spin it on there. At this stage, you want to kind of do the same thing you were doing with the thread. You want to figure eight around the eye of the hook. And then go in front and really just make one wrap probably. And then just kind of brush it back. Move that out of the way and then make you a wrap in front of the eye. Cut your excess. Now, what you're going to do is just anchor in, just like a clouser, you're going to anchor in behind that eye. Build your little head. You're going to take the UV fluorescent hot pink and ice dub, just a little clump of it, pull it apart nicely, and then line it up in the middle. If you see my other video, 
I kind of explained the, the pinching of this and how it makes it easier to tie in. But I'm going to lay that over the top. Again, tie it behind. Go once in front. And then one more time behind. And I'd like to just kind of pull some of that excess off of there. From here, I'm just going to whip finish. You can use a whip finish tool if you want. And then cut it. That's it. That's the whole fly. So yeah, hope you guys like it. Hope you guys get to fish it. Good luck.